I will now show you how to color and group your codes. Open the code manager. Here you see all of your codes and on the left side, a side panel where it says code groups that is empty. So you are going to select the codes that you want to group. Let me, let me do this according to the categories that I have represented in the codes. I select these CHA codes and now I click where it says change color and let me select orange. I will select those that are under funding and I will select green. Those are, are under services, service recipients. I will select the color purple and those under services the color yellow and finally the ones under work let me select those codes and I will color them red all right so now what I have to do is proceed to group them now uh, you will group them uh, based on your uh, or based on the identification of themes and categories that you find interesting and that you would like to further explore. So uh, grouping your codes uh, together allows for two things. One is to focus your coding on a particular uh, set of codes, what I would refer to as a conceptual domain, but it also allows you to interrogate Atlas TI across those domains. So let me now select the codes that I, 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 I grouped under CHA or that I colored uh, with the same color. They all refer to community health agents. I will drag and drop into the side panel and call this group community health agents. Now the colors do not have to coincide with the grouping. In this case, to facilitate things, I am making colors and groups coincide, but you may have a table uh, somewhere uh, uh, for, with your colors and the meanings for each color. So there is a lot of space for creativity. You have to determine what would be the meaning of your colors. It could be that you say, the colors that are uh, or the codes that are color red will be those that I have to, I don't know, perhaps revisit. Uh, the colors that are green, I will say that those are the, co the codes that, uh, whose definitions are already clear for me and so on. So really, the, 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 that is something that you are going to define according to your needs. I always say that there is a lot of space for creativity for you to determine what meanings are you going to give to these colors? So let me now group this, this here and say they all have to do with funding. Oops, let me, let me, uh, okay, here it is. Funding. Service recipients. services. So this is not that difficult. And finally, I will select all of those that have to do with work. Work. All together. Okay, so that is all that I wanted to show you in this short video tutorial. Thank you.